Hello. Welcome to the Turks and Caicos Islands. I'm your host, Cheryl Hawkins Page. In a moment, I will be interviewing noted Turks and Caicos author and visual artist Graham Weiner. He will be sharing his thoughts on oil painting, island life, and his recent novel, The Jumbie Life. Please join me. What is The Jumbie Life? And how did you come about that title for the book? Um, well, uh, The Jumbie Life, you know, I'm not even really sure what it means. Uh, I, Jumbie, the idea of Jumbie is like a, like a patchwork. Um, like, like a patchwork quilt or, or like a, a collage of, um, of pieces. And uh, I think it also denotes a certain colorfulness. And um, so I chose that as a title for the book, but also I think it has a connotation of, um, of something magical, of something um, spiritual in a way. So um, that's that's why I chose the Jumby Life as uh, as the title of the book. And when I had painted my house over in Providenci Providenciales, all of the sort of different colors, wild colors, you know, all the Haitians were like, "Ooh, that's Jumby, man, that's Jumby." So just went with it. And what would you say the Jumby Life is about? What is this message? Well, the message of the, the Jumbie Life, uh, essentially for me, is about the destruction of stereotypes, um, religious or ethnic or cultural. There's nothing that makes me happier than, than a shattered stereotype. Um, and the book has a spiritual essence to it. It's uh, basically two narratives that intertwine and they sort of um, reinforce each other uh, literally and spiritually through the through the the novel. So Grim, are you working on any new literature? Yeah, yeah I am. I'm working on a new novel. Uh, it's called As the Crow Flies and it's a great deal more complicated than this book right here. Uh, the Jummy Life was meant to be more or less a simple narrative without a lot of um, shock value, let's say. However, the new novel, As the Crow Flies, is going to be diametrically uh, the opposite. It's going to have sex. It's going to have violence. It's going to be just destructive. So I'm I'm giving the readers forewarning, you know, strap on your safety belts, okay, uh, because I have 26 different characters, several of them are female, all of which are completely psychotic, and uh, I'm really looking forward to uh, tying them all together, and uh, that's sort of what I'm working on right now, my plot with that book. So. Um, I look forward to uh, presenting it. So, uh, thank you for asking me about that. And uh, maybe you should come on up to the studio and take a look at the paintings up there. And uh, that might be a good way to uh, close the interview.